a city right across from Singapore, Johor Bahru. And just like many cities in Malaysia, it's also a diverse and delicious one. That light layer of dough, the great midday snack. In this episode, we will give you a taste of some of this city's bold, rich, mouth-watering foods. From unique twists on classics to fresh and delicious, we've got you covered. Look at that perfect durian flavor. It's not bitter, it's not too sweet. It's right where you want it. Come here, ask for the laksa mihun kue. At restaurant, you Sui, the family-owned business and people coming in and out of this place and everyone's just sipping their laksa or any dish. We've never seen laksa in this noodle. It reminds me of bento kind of a noodle. This laksa is very interesting. So I'm a huge fan of curry mee, curry laksa, you name it. And what I read about this place, what really stood out is that you can actually get this laksa with the mihun kue noodles, AKA the pan mee noodles. And I'm a huge fan of these thick, chewy noodles. So it's really kind of a dream combination for me to have these thick, chewy noodles along with a rich curry broth. So I came and tried this place yesterday. I loved it so much, I decided we gotta come back here to film it. That's how good it is. What makes it special, these noodles are made fresh. So we actually see them put the dough in this kind of contraption where they like, move the wheel and then it flattens it and they throw it in the pot and then boil it fresh right there for each order, which is really special. You can tell the attention to detail and quality here. I can't even talk about it anymore. I gotta take a bite of these noodles. There's that perfect texture. Like Jumi said, it reminds us a lot of Tibetan bentuk noodle. But it also kind of reminds you of like the Xi'an Yangbang noodle. They're like that thick chewy. I just love this type. It's this is a genius combination. Take a sip of the broth. Very coconutty. Yeah, it still has like the slight curry flavor. It's very rich. What I like is there's a little bit of a refreshing flavor from the laksa leaf in there. You have a lot of these uh, tofu puffs. There's tofu skin. There's taoge, aka bean sprouts. And we also have fish ball too. There's a lot of shredded laksa leaf. To give it a nice uh, herbal, fresh flavor. And every curry mee, no curry mee is complete without cockles. And they don't disappoint here with the cockles. They give you a nice portion. This has got so much going on. I'm actually gonna add a little of this sambal in here too. Put a nice dollop in there. You get a nice big bite. You gotta come here, ask for the laksa mihun kue. So you get the best of both worlds. Really one of my favorite bowls of curry meat, or curry laksa in Malaysia that I've had. Broth is great, but the noodles are incredible. Our midday snack We're here at Wakai Three in One Chinese Cake. It smells so delicious. Just the look of it, it looks very crunchy. And I cannot wait to have this. Wow. Look at that, it is covered heavily. This <laughs> is really crunchy. This probably is the um, chempedak. Tastes like jackfruit. Actually, it reminds me of fried turon or turon. I don't know if you heard it. It is just as crunchy as how it looks. We're here in Skudai, which is just outside of JB. And 
been dying to try this. So this is a spot. They're actually, I hear, the first ones to do fried durian. Now, we love durian, whether it's fresh durian, durian in chendol, durian fermented for temple yak, savory, whatever the durian is, put it in front of us, we're gonna eat it and we're gonna love it. But man, fried, this is, sounds totally next level. And this is so crispy and crunchy, oh man, I'm so ready. Love. Creamy, custody interior. I do love the creaminess of durian. And this one just, when it's fried like this, it heats up so it really melts. Like, wow, this is like a velvety, silky, creamy texture and that perfectly crisp outside. Man, the contrast of textures, the crispy and the creamy is just unbelievable. And that durian is so perfectly, it's got that perfect durian flavor. It's not bitter, it's not too sweet. It's right where you want it. I can eat about 10 of these. I'm gonna try the chumpa duck. And I'm gonna try the durian. <laughs> oh. mm. Chumpa duck is very interesting. It's got a little bit of that jackfruit flavor. It almost has like a gingery taste to it too. It's got like a sharp, very interesting. The batter on these is incredible. I had a chumpa duck first, now I, I had durian. So the first bite before durian, it has no gingery taste at all. It's just pure jackfruit taste. I strongly advise that you go to smooth tasting fruit or the cakes first. Like durian should be the last bite that you'll get or work your way up to the durian. So start with a subtle taste, then durian is the very last thing that you're gonna eat. And make sure... Turn left to Jalan Saladang. We're now having banana leaf rice meal. This one from Ashoka Curry House. In the middle of a residential village. And this is our second time. My favorite, my personal favorite, is this curry chicken. The first bite when we were here the first time, in my mind, this is the best curry chicken I've ever had in the entire time we're here, here in Malaysia, having the alley. This is so good. All of the spice in here. fans of banana leaf rice and we actually just came here on a whim a couple days ago here in Johor Bahru and just craved banana leaf rice and we loved it so much that we came back so the cool thing about this place is that you can actually pick it out yourself and you self-serve it which you can get carried away kind of did the other day but now got the lay of the land here so I really loaded up this plate look at that this banana leaf is just covered so you got the rice you bungee it with some curries we flooded it got a couple different veggies we got mutton, we got two types of chicken, man, papa dums, I'm, I'm just ready to go. And it smells incredible. And just, you can look at it up close. You can even look at that mutton up close. You know it's gonna be good. It's just covered in these seeds. Look at that. So it's a dry mutton curry, but it just feels so soft. Look at that. It comes right apart. That's where I'm gonna start off. Spices are in this mutton curry. You have, look at that, it's a knee seed right here. You have a big cinnamon clove. That's why this is one of those flavorful mutton I've ever had in my life. Mm. That mutton is just insane. It's one of the most tender mutton I've ever tasted. Flavorful, so it's spicy. Got the cumin seeds. You got curry leaves on here. It's so flavorful. It's just, it's just saturated in flavor. I, I can't believe how flavorful this is. I'd be happy enough with just a big bowl of this mutton, but the good news is there's a lot more here to eat. The 
curries here are just so rich and flavorful. There's a dry chicken curry here too. Chicken's quite delicious, but I can't get past this mutton. I'm telling you, it's like I said before, just give me a massive bowl of this mutton. I'll be happy, man. Phenomenal flavor bomb mutton right here. I'll tell you as much banana leaf rice as we've eaten around Malaysia, this is definitely one of the most flavorful I've had. That's saying a lot. To end off the meal, we also got some rasam. So, rasam we actually had for the first time in our Nasi Kandar and Penang video. We're gonna put a card up here, you can check that out. But, look at that, look at all these spices here. So it's this little soup, it's just full of these seeds. There's cumin seeds, there's fennel, there's all types. We are at Martaba, Singapore. This thick, rich Martaba. Look at that. That is insane. Good thing we're here with our friends, Linda, da -da -da -da, and her nephew. <laughs> in Wei, seeing those mountains of ground meat like that kind of reminds you a little bit like Philly cheesesteak in a way. Um, and just like the gluttonous of it, all the oil, you know, obviously cheese. Like, you could get this with cheese too. We decided not to. That'd be almost too much. Murtabak is one of the signatures you gotta have here in JB. So this is a. Uh, Local recommendation from Linda. Looks awesome. Love watching them make this. So Murtabak, it's similar like a roti chennai in a way, but like they flip the dough so many times. So they stuff it first with the minced beef and the onions, flip it, and they put an egg on top, more beef. This thing is just looks insane. Just so many layers here. Gonna have a piece of it first by itself like this. Minced meat is crispy. It's already cooked once and then they put it on the flat top like that, so it crisps up on that flat top. Without, they put a lot of oil in here too. This is definitely a really gluttonous dish, but it's not as heavy on the carbs as you would think. Just from looking at it, I think more of the volume of this is the egg, the meat. Yeah, the nice crunch of the onions in there too. This is nice, but I think what I'm really gonna do here now is add some dal. Add a little of this sauce too. Sauce it up. There we go. I like that because the dal and the sauce really have flavor. The hot sauce is not, it's not really hot, it's more sweet. It's got a tomato flavor in it. You can tell it's more of a runny sauce. The dal really adds a nice flavor to it, gives it a creamy element. Curry leaf. I can eat the doll by itself, that's how good it is really. But when you add it onto this, you get that meat, you get the egg, you get the onion, you get the doll, and that light layer of dough. It's a great midday snack, but if you get the super special, you gotta come with a crew. <laughs> Try to take this down by yourself, good luck to you. Super special mark the box. There's probably history here of why this is called Murtabak Singapura and they be found in Malaysia. Ona tried to adapt uh, the Murtaba that's famous in Singapore, bring to Johor and improvise the uh, elevate the flavor uh, and become one signature dish in Johor. Even um, Singaporeans, when the border was still open, would come here and just get Martabak Singapore in Malaysia. <laughs> Our table is just filled with food that it's almost like there's no space for more. We're 
having a meal with Linda. <laughs> <Ta -da -na -na -na. laughs> She's probably tired of us already at this point. <laughs> and her nephew. We are at Medan Salera de Pinta Pro. The, 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 the stall that we're, we ordered our food is, it's the stall number 11, Tip Top Ikan Bakar. Wait, we have baby crabs. We have salted egg calamari, fried squid. And this beautiful, delicious ikan pari bakar or stingray, grilled stingray. We got the star of the show here. The reason why we came, the ikan bakar. So it's the grilled stingray, the ikan pari. Wow. This one looks so unique to any other ikan bakar we had here in Malaysia because it's actually chopped up tomato and onion on top. So that's the sambal is made with the fresh tomato and onion. Like usually it's just a puree sambal. Like this is totally different. It looks incredible. Take a nice big bite with all those chopped tomatoes, onions. It smells absolutely incredible. It's spicy, but it has a nice sweetness from the tomato. I love the texture that the fresh tomato and onion add to it. And the ikan pari itself, the stingray, is so fresh and clean. It doesn't have that ammonia flavor you might get in stingray sometimes, like so super fresh. You see it on the ice as you go to the stall to order. I really eat about two or three of these by myself. So we got here, we got the karang, aka cockles. We love these when they're in curry meat. We love them in sambal, we love them anyway. And this is the first time we've actually tried these steamed, just like this, very simple, well, boiled. Just boiled, simple, crack open. I have fun just cracking these open too. Oh, you're gonna smell it, it just smells like the sea. I'm gonna eat a plain, we have a sauce with it, but I'm gonna eat a plain, just like this. It's got such a pleasant sea flavor. And it's, it's got this little bit of juice in there too. I can eat about 100 of these in one sitting, no problem. Amazing, these simple and delicious. You just really gotta enjoy the pure taste of the cockles, amazing. We have this beautiful salted egg sotong, the salted egg fried squid. And it's just covered in the salted egg sauce. Look at that. It looks almost like melted cheese. It looks like a cheese sauce, because that's how yellow it is. And it's got all these curry leaves on it. <laughs> Intense salted egg flavor, I love it. I can just put the salted egg on anything and just enjoy it. Like, that's how rich and delicious it is. It doesn't overpower. It's rich, but it's not overpowering. It's amazing. They do a great job with it here. Some places they do it where they fry it with the salted egg, but I like that they fry it and then pour the salted egg on top. 